Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Mariah, for those of you guys who are new here. And today we are going to be doing an hourly life planner and also a planner catch up because I've done quite a few things to this planner. So yeah, keep watching. So we are going to begin with the planner catch up to see kind of what I've been doing behind the scenes. Uh, I know last week's videos weren't, didn't really go to what I planned in my plan with me. So they didn't go how I planned them to go. But that is because I received my second dose of the vaccine yesterday, or not yesterday, but oh, let's see, on Thursday. Friday, I woke up and I felt like complete crap. I had so many side effects. The first dose, I didn't have any side effects except a sore arm, but Friday was rough. Um, I couldn't do anything, so that is why I did not get another video up. I apologize, but this week is a new week. So let's just see. Um, I really want to go through the updates I made to this planner. I'm super excited. So first and foremost, my stickers finally came in from According to Allie, and she did say she has another custom names um, listing going up on her site in about two weeks. So if you like her scripts, she hand writes them. Um, so yeah, you can head over to her page on Instagram and you'll be able to see when they are listed. I love her handwriting and these stickers are amazing. So yeah, that is where I got that from. And then the rest I made myself. So I unboxed my new printer that um, my significant other got me for Christmas. And it prints, it prints amazingly. Um, and I was able to make some stickers and they turned out great. So the first change I made, I put a sticker sheet down over these six months. And this is where I'm going to do a school spotlight for my oldest because she does start school in August this year. Um, I'm super excited and I'll kind of show you some of the things I had in mind. I kind of went off of hand can plans um, ideas and just kind of made my own. So let's see here. For the school spotlights, I am going to, I made these strips. I need to make new ones because my Cricut kind of was off calibration. And I don't know if you can see that, but the D is kind of cut off there. And I don't, I don't know. I just don't like the way they look. So I'm going to make new ones, but I'm going to put her class for when she graduates because this will be her first day of school. And then in this planner, I'm going to do her first day information with a picture of her on her first day. And then in next year's planner, I'll have to do her last day information. I thought I could do both, but then I thought about her last day is going to be in my next planner because this ends in December and she's starting in August. I know a lot of people get the um, academic year or like they'll get the one that starts in June or July I think it's July for that reason because of their kids school but I love like a January to December start for my planner I want to see a whole year at a time so I don't plan to change over so I will put her first day information in here um, and it gives me more room for a bigger picture so I want to put her the date that she starts the grade which of course will be preschool her age, her teacher, the her favorite color, her favorite food, and then what she wants to be. And then in next year's planner, I will put her last day with the date, her favorite color, her favorite food, just to see if they changed, her favorite subject from that year, and then her favorite part of that year. So yeah, I really like this. And again, I got that from Hand Can Plan. I kind of messed around with what she did. And then I also put a little script here for my key, just so I can title that. I don't know, I really like this. 
And then I titled this page Year at a Glance. So moving on. Oh yeah, wait, actually. I did title these two. So I put this month I want to. Just because the other ones, I think it said a goal is a dream with a deadline. And that didn't really correlate to what I want to use these pages for. Nothing's changed here. And then I made a script here for my memories. Um, and then I really honed in on what I want to use my dashboard for. So I love putting my pictures over here. And I love that collage that I do every month. So I wanted this to kind of play off of this. And what I decided to do, this is going to be a little monthly recap of just some of my some of the things that happened that month. This is going to be a currently page or box where I write down what I'm currently reading, watching, loving, and feeling. This, I'm going to track my um, social base with YouTube and Instagram. It's not really something that's important to me to, I mean, I want to grow, but I don't want to really pay attention to numbers, if that makes sense, just because that's not what's most important to me. I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't really tell people in my videos, don't forget to subscribe or don't like. Don't forget to like this video. I just feel like that's kind of overplayed and I really, that's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this to share my planner journey and yeah, but I feel like this is kind of a cool thing to look back on. I don't know. So that is what I'm doing with here. And then down here, I love this idea. I don't like using the habits. I never liked using this kind of for more things that I'm already putting, more of the same thing I'm putting in my monthly and my weeklies. So I'm going to be using the lined box and I titled it my favorite moments. So just some of the my favorite things that happened during that month, like for starters, my daughter Milani called McDonald's Nonalds this month. It was just the other day and it was the cutest thing. So just little things I want to remember. So yeah. I feel like most times it's going to be like things my kids say because they say the most off the wall funny things. Um, but yeah, so that is how I'm using these moving forward. And I made little scripts. I'm not coming out with a shop anytime soon, but I just feel like I wanted my name on the pages just to see what it would look like. And I just made little pages to correlate with that. So that is fun. And then... The last thing, I did make all of my notes page headers. So I made my sticker kits and I titled both spreads. I, I wanted kind of different titles instead of like travel plans and meal ideas. So I put where to next and then over here is what's for dinner. I put book reviews because I do want to review the books. So after I'm done reading the book I chose for January, I will put it over here and I'll give it a five, like a out of five star rating. And then this page I titled birthday wishes. I titled this section on my Christmas spread this year I want and this section Christmas to do's. And then I titled year in review simple and sweet and then I'm not sure yet what I'm going to title this but I'm thinking about doing shop discount codes just because I feel like I'm always searching for those things and then I do want to title this I just honestly forgot about this one um next year or next year's possibilities I don't know but yeah so that are those are all the updates I've done to my planner and I honestly think that that is the last of it. I think we're all set to go. So I'm excited. I love, I think this is my favorite thing. I love how I'm using this page and it gets me excited to have that in my life planner. But yeah, so here is last week. That was a lot of talking, but I did want to update you guys on what my planner is looking like. But here's last week, I added more things to my sidebar. I chose my book for this month. It's called It Ends With Us by Colleen. Let me see, I'll grab it really quick. 
by Colleen Hoover. So this is the book I chose to read. Um, and I'm starting my goals on the 10th. I officially like set up my Moxie Life Companion notebook and I'm excited. So make sure you watch out for my video coming Wednesday. I'm going to be setting up my petite system for the week and I will go over what I did in that planner. And this is the kit we're using. I switched it up. I was going to be using a Nicole Alexia Designs kit, but then I remembered I wanted to use this kit from Orange Umbrella Co. So it's an older kit. And when I purchased it, it was on like the almost out the door section, like the last chance. But I'm in love with it. I don't love these icons, so I don't think I'm going to use them. I don't need the sidebar. But I can use these. Of course, the headers. I don't know if these ones are going to fit because this is a newer planner, but we will see. If not, we have our individuals, or we can cut these. I have some thin washi, I have the full boxes, and then the boxes. So yeah, I'm super excited to just jump right into this. This kit is gorgeous. I remember buying it and wanting to use it and having to wait because I honestly think I purchased it in like the summer months. But yeah, so let's just get right into it. Oh, that looks so pretty. I knew this was going to be a gorgeous kit. I love just the little houses. I even have a spring version that I'm planning to use in March. So I probably should have did this. Up. You know what? I'm going to because that is going to be hard to cut off. But then again, I hate lining these up over here. There. Okay, now what are we going to cut this with? I think we might just use this. I don't like pulling these, but at this angle I'm going to have to. That wasn't too bad. There. I don't use many Orange Umbrella Co. kits anymore, but she has a really great shop. So if you're interested, I would definitely check her out. Let's do the date covers next. And I need my... Oh, right here. My little tweezers. So Monday is the 10th. So yeah, like I was saying in the beginning, I got my second dose of the vaccine on Thursday. And guys, let me just tell you, my significant other said he felt like he had, because we had previously had the virus, if you've been around like the middle of last year, then you'll have known I had it. Um, but he felt like he had the, va the virus all over again. I didn't feel that bad but I woke up with back pain and I don't know if it was because of how I slept but I haven't had back pain that bad in a while and I think it was honestly because I guess one of the symptoms is um, muscle pain I don't know if it like attacked my back pain that I had previously had because I do have sciatica I don't know if like that could potentially be why I got back pain. Okay, these fit perfectly. And I like that I can line them up with that 6 a.m. Because it fits perfectly. But yeah, so I feel like it kind of, because I've had back pain before, it, like the muscle pain kind of attacked that area a little more so I don't know but I'm glad it's over it only lasted that day well the back pain he rubbed my back and I felt better but my 
I had nausea all day and I could not shake the nausea. So that is one thing I did not enjoy. I don't know which one of these I want to use. I feel like the nausea was the longest lasting and of course the arm pain, but honestly the arm pain went away a lot sooner than it did last time. I'm trying to figure out, I think I want to use this just because it kind of goes with that bottom washi. And these are like super long and skinny. I think I might have to do this one. And I'm gonna, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to wipe that out. All right, so there is that. And then of course in the sidebar, I like to put my currently reading, which I'm actually gonna have to grab from I think I'm gonna use this one because they don't come with these. I think I'll honestly use those icons. And let's see here. I think I'll use this pink one. Doesn't go perfectly with this kit, but we will make it work. So there is where my reading will be. I actually want to see. Yeah, I actually have one. I don't know. I don't think this one will go either though. So we'll just stick with the dark blue. And I'll pull these out just in case I want to use more. Oh, let's see here. We can use one of these. I think we'll use the pink again. I'm gonna use the dot there and then I'm going to grab my scripts out and grab a this week. All right, so here they are. And I'm just going to kind of there so there's our sidebar um I do want kind of like a currently reading I know I used the unplug here um actually you know what we'll title it I'm going to grab out of here I know I have a self-care script and I'll just use that because that is part of my self-care goals and my moxie life is to read a book a month. So there is that and I could of course already write in the title because I know what book I'm reading. All right, moving on. Now I will do the full boxes, which are right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, perfect. Mm. I think we'll start with this one. And I will be right back. All right, so here are our full boxes. Those are all gone, so that's perfect. And... I think we can just jump into our plans. I kind of, I don't know if I want to put a thin washi strip underneath those headers. It's kind of bugging me, let's see. I think I might do this darker blue. My head just bumped the camera. So I had to kind of readjust that um that shows me that those are not straight but we are going to ignore it and we'll move on i like how this looks so we're continuing i don't know i feel like they kind of need to be anchored up there 
It's kind of looked like they were just floating. But yeah, and then we need to do our weekend banner, which I don't know if I want to use this weekend banner. I've kind of moved away from that type of font, so I'm going to see if I have a Planner Kate one to match. Alright, we will just stick with the one the kit came with. And I don't think I want to do washi underneath. Oh, these come on here. So what's right here? I think what we'll do is we'll just bring it up here. Just like that. Perfect. And we will white out the 7 a.m. Okay, um, and we actually might, I might use like a snowflake. I like that. And maybe one of these will look cute. Or maybe we can honestly use both. I like that. Kind of. Yeah. Alright, we're going to keep that. I like the way that looks. Now we can go in with our plans because we're all done decorating. <laughs> um, oh, there's these cute flags we can use. All right, so uh, we'll start with the videos, and I think we'll use these. I like these. So Monday will be this video. I think we'll put them there. And then the plan is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but we shall see if that is how it goes. goes. Um, my goal for the new year is one or two videos a week at least so at the bare minimum it's going to be my plan with me and then my petite weekly setup so those two videos I know I want to do every day this year or not every day every week this year and then some weeks like this week I'll have a haul or my monthly plan with me those I will always do so yeah those are my goals for this year and then I do really want to post on Instagram um three times a week so I'm really trying I know I keep saying that but it's hard for me I don't know why it's so hard to get on board with Instagram but it just really is. So, yeah, bear with me while I try to figure out how to be an Instagrammer. <laughs> um, okay, I do have two appointments this week. And one is on Tuesday. My significant other has a hair appointment. And I really like these checks, checkbox ones. But those are more for tasks. Trying to figure out how I want to mark appointments. And I think we'll just do these type of boxes because honestly his hair cuts take a long time. And that is kind of going to be first thing in the morning because he works in the afternoon. And then my daughter has her doctor's appointment on Wednesday. Let's see. We will use this one. I honestly should probably write on that before putting it down, but we will make it work. And then I think that's all the appointments this week. 
let's look and see what bills we have going on. So one, two, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> okay, so we have a ton of bills this week. Monday is an after pay. And I think for bills, we will just use these. So let's see. Hopefully we have enough, but we should. So Monday. Wednesday we have one. Okay, and then Thursday we have two. Friday we have one, and then I know we have one at least Saturday, yep, Saturday is one, and Sunday is one. We had the perfect amount of these. And then something we do every week on Saturday night, like super late Saturday night, is we watch our show. So I think we'll use this one. Or honestly, maybe we could use one of these. I'll just use this. I have to leave room for. So actually, we are going to use the other one because we have to use leave room for the bill due stuff, and that's how I'll mark that one. Okay, and then. I think we have, oh, I already used it. I'll use this one, the little TV. I'll probably adjust that. I don't know. I will see how I want to do that. And I think there's nothing else to put in. I'm probably missing something, but that is fine. <laughs> So now I can go in with all of my stickers and we'll start with the icons. So I finally finished that whole sheet and it looks amazing. I think we'll use these. So three videos this week and I'm definitely gonna need my tweezers for this, so. One, two, and three. And then let's see, this is a haircut, but let's just see what comes up next. I know we have her appointment, which actually, I love this one. So we'll use this. Oh, and that fits there perfectly. We have these. And we will just layer her. 
we will need these and we need eight. So I'm going to move over to the new sheet and I'm just gonna put all of these down. I thought we had eight though, so let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. I missed one on the Saturday. So we're gonna have to put another one down. And we're gonna have to move that, so. So we're gonna move these off to the side just for now. I do want to mark that, but we might have to get a little crafty, so. One more. There. So those are all of those. Don't need any more, I don't think. I just need... ones back here yep right here and let me double check so yep everything has an icon one two three four five six so I need six of these and then I think that is it for icons and I'm not going to white out the time just because I feel like it's going to be way too much to have to do and honestly the times don't bother me just in some places which I don't know that's weird so there are those and now I need my scripts oh yeah payday so what we can do for payday I honestly really want to use one of these flags so I think I'll just do something like this. That is not straight. There is that. And then we will grab one of these. And I want to get an icon. I don't know if there's one on here. I think I used them all, honestly. I did, so. I'm gonna need another icon for there, but that will be okay. I will get that after I'm done with the scripts. Okay, so we're gonna grab three of these uploads. And then six of these bill dues. So one, two, Three, four, five, six. And I don't think we need any more. But I'm sure there'll be something that'll come up. So there's that. So uh, over the well, I don't even know which night it was, but the other night I was up super late and Adam Sandler's movie, what was it? 50 First Dates came on and I forgot how much I love that movie. It was, oh, I just love that movie so much. Let me know if you've ever seen that movie and if you like it too. I just, I love, I don't think there's an Adam Sandler movie that I didn't like. He has such amazing movies. So there are all our script stickers. And we need an icon for there. Yeah, I like that. So there, we're done with stickers. Now we can write everything in. So let's just get started. So over here, I will write in my book. 
So it ends with us. And then the bill on Monday is a planner Kate after pay. And then on Tuesday, the haircut is at 10 a.m. So there is a plow outside my window. So I have to kind of like pause randomly. And then over here, the bill on Wednesday is Hulu. That looks horrible, but we will work with it. And then my daughter's appointment. I'm going to actually pull this off and then write on it and put it back down because I do not like writing by this coil. So, so it's at 1130. And it's a four-year checkup. There. Yeah, and we need to figure out something for this, which I actually might just put it super early on Sunday because technically it is Sunday. It's at midnight. I don't know. Or maybe we can fit it with a smaller thing. We'll see. So there are those. And then over here we have two bills on Thursday. So my Erin Condren Afterpay and then the Cricut Access. We'll just write Cricut. And then Friday's bill. Oh yeah, we have two bills on Friday. I just don't put I just don't put them on my monthly. Uh, and this is like the only I'm actually gonna take this. Apparently we're just all for forgetting this week. So there is that. And now I have to go grab my icons. Now I think we're good. So Friday's bills is Amazon and then my car payment. So there are those. And then Saturday's bills and here comes a plow. <laughs> Okay, Saturday's bills are Consumers and Planner Kate Afterpay. And then Sunday is an Erin Condren Afterpay. And I think we are done, guys. So, one last thing I want to do. Last week, I highlighted the week, but I kind of want to try something else. I like that. So we just put that on the start of the week and the end of the week. So yeah. Oh my gosh. I think. Oh yeah. We're gonna. I got so excited. But I think what we'll do. So there is that. And then we will. Yeah, I think that works. I think we can get away with that. And I will write the show down. Okay, guys, and that is everything. This looks so amazing. I'm so glad I purchased it when I did. I can't wait to see how the spring version of this is going to look. I'm going to have to watch out for more Orange Umbrella Co. kits because... This is gorgeous, and her stickers were so easy to use. Not that any other shops that I use aren't, but you know what I mean. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and tune in on Wednesday for our petite weekly setup where I go over my goals for the year. So yeah, I'll see you then. Bye. Bye.